Welcome back to another dividend ETF review video. Today we're looking at Rex Shares FEPI, FEPI, the Rex Feng and Innovation Equity Premium ETF. Today's March 29, 2024. Let's jump right in. An overview. The Rex Feng and Innovation Equity Premium Income ETF combines big tech stock exposure and the potential for steady income in a covered call ETF. The approach. FEPI owns the 15 stocks from the Selective Fang Innovation Index. FEPI sells call options on these big tech stocks, seeking to harness their volatility. FEPI seeks to provide monthly distributions to investors with no K-1. Benefits FEPI provides exposure to leading tech firms within the Fang and Innovation Index, equally weighted, providing a strategic approach to big tech. FEPI aims for, high, for steady high income by selling out-of-the-money call options, harnessing big tech's volatility while capping some of the potential stock gains. FEPI's covered call approach can counterbalance the potential market declines, seeking to offer a protective layer from price declines in these big tech stocks. Some key facts. FEPI has been around since October 11, 2023. It currently has $118.2 million under management. Morningstar categorizes as a large market cap. It has 82 underlying holdings and 100% allocation into the equities. It does get income from derivatives, selling options, calls, puts, yes. It is actively managed, yes. And it is not a leveraged ETF, nor it is an inverse ETF. Some key statistics, the expense ratio currently six is 0.65%. It has a higher PDE ratio of 43.32%. It does distribute dividends monthly. Its last distribution was $1.18 per share. It has a current share price of $55.90. Uh, too little information to look at portfolio turnover. It has a projected trailing 12 month distribution yield of 25.05%. The current 30-day distribution yield, however, is negative 0.33%. It has a year-to-date total return of 5.88% in 2024. Not enough information for a one-year total, but the lifetime total return since inception sits at 12.50%. The management team. Uh, there are two management managers in total. It also has a advisor-sub-advisor -advisor relationship. They have a combined experience of 24 years between them. The top 10 holdings, uh, the S&P 500 FANG Selective Index is the benchmark, with number one being Google Alphabet Class A at 7.13%, number two Microsoft at 7.04%, number three Palo Alto Networks at 6.98%, followed by Apple at 6.97%, Amazon at 6.96%, Netflix at 6.92%, Nvidia at 6.83%, Broadcom at 6.83%, Meta, Facebook, Class A, 6.83%, and lastly, Micron Technology at 6.78%. The equity sector breakdown is very much not diversified. Uh, the three categories, number one, information technology sitting at 66.90, number two, communication services, 19.82%, and number three, consumer discretionary, 13.29%. The geographic footprint to this ETF, FEPI, is 100% United States based. All right, disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do not take any of this information as financial advice. This information is purely for entertainment and educational value only. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next dividend review video. Hi, I'd like to take a minute to share with you some of our affiliate partners. Charles Schwab, you can sign up through the link below uh, in the description or through this QR code. Uh, they are offering cash deposits when you make a deposit into a Charles Schwab account. We use Charles Schwab here on this platform uh, for the research that we provide. Fidelity has an amazing e-money partner link. Uh, you can combine all of your online accounts and it gives you a, a awesome experience. It's called uh, Fidelity Full View. Robinhood is an amazing mobile experience. Uh, it's got a fun app, easy to use, uh, very awesome brokerage account. Uh, customer service is great. Thank you guys so much again. We hope we can help you out and see you guys in the next video.